Hey, welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to Cooking with Chef Puff. We bring you the good stuff. Ah, I'm happy to be back. Me and my wife was on a 10-day cruise to the uh, to the Caribbean on the New York uh, New Engine New NCL Getaway out of New York City, and we stayed in the Haven. If you come across that video, please watch it. It's many more videos to come. It's more about the the Haven adventure that we went on because Haven is a, is the top of the top line of cruising. Okay, but today what we're gonna do, we're gonna be doing some sous vide pork chops and then I'm gonna finish them up on the griddle. Okay, and I'm gonna season them with the, a sweet rub, a pork sweet rub, all right? And I'm gonna season them. So let me start seasoning these and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, everybody, I'm gonna let me give you a rundown what I did. Okay, I seasoned the, the, the pork chops with that uh, barbecue rub okay and also I added a, a teaspoon of butter to the bag all right and sealed them up I'm going to serve these pork chops at 150 degrees for one hour all right and then I'm gonna basically finish them up on the griddle just to give them color that is it all right this is gonna be some good groceries right here all right so let me just get these in real quick get the cooking process started and voila all right so once again everybody if you if you come across cruising with chef puff please watch the video i mean and think about cruising if you have never been on a cruise before it is the most wonderful thing the, i mean if you watch the videos and where we've been and, and the photos and the meals we had it was just just basically fine dining but that's in the haven but anywhere else it's just a wonderful vacation, all right? We went on a 10-day adventure, all right? So I'll see you after when these uh, pork chops are done. And um, so stay tuned. Be right back. All right, let's get to cooking with Chef Puff. Okay, I got the griddle preheated. Let's check the temperature on it. I'm going to use the infrared part of it. 392, 392. Okay, 333. Okay, it's variant. We're in the range right now. Okay, I submitted the pork chops at 150 degrees for one hour. All right, it came out beautifully. All right, so I have two types of sauces I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use a sweet baby raised. One is a chili and one is regular barbecue. All right, so let's get to cooking here. Okay, let's first of all, let's get some oil down. Because all we're doing right now is remember when you submit and when it's all said and done, you just give it a cup. I'm not using a lot of, of barbecue sauce in them. Just give them a nice light coat. Because I don't want to lose the flavor profile of the pork chop the season that I did put on it. Alright, so here we go. First chop going down. Uh, you hear that nice like sizzle? Here, I'm gonna turn my fan on, but I'll talk a little bit louder. All right, let me just see what it's starting to look like. Let's see the color here. So what I'm gonna do now? I'm gonna start flipping them. So you're getting a pretty color. All right, and then I'm gonna start saucing them. See the nice color? All right, 
obviously you can see that the middle is pretty hot. So I'm gonna do some alternating here. Alright, so. So, what I'm gonna do here, with the regular barbecue sauce, as you can see, I'm not putting a lot on. Alright. And I'm gonna put these over and let that sauce caramelize onto the pork chop. But there's something I also did to the pork chop where that my family we don't like fat. A lot of people like fat, we don't like fat. Alright, but I did remove all the fat. But if you do have a, a, a piece of meat that does have fat on it, when you cook it in the sous vide, it renders down the fat. But when, remember, flat is fat. Fat is flavor. Okay. Yes. Now I'm gonna hit the front, east front here with the chili. This is baby Ray's uh, sweet chili. It, it's a little spicy. It's just a little spicy. All right. Very, very. Okay, what I'm going to do now is back pork chop. And I'll flip them over. Ooh, that was hot. Okay. Now I'm going to put the front over. Very nice, very nice. Okay, oh god. Looking good. But once, like I said, once you can be your meat, um, the cook, it's not even cooking them. Remember, just give them color. That's all it is. Alright. So now I'm going to do the other side here. Like I said, you don't need much of the sauce. And that is it with the sweet baby ready. Now I'm going to hit it with the, the chili. The baby ready sweet and chili. Okay, at this time, I'm going to turn the griddle off if it don't need it no more. Give it one more flip. is more in the center on this griddle here. Okay. Basically, that is it. So, I'm going to start plating these.
Okay, I'm gonna clean this up later, so give me a moment and uh, we'll get back to uh, the pork chops and I'll give you, I'll see what they look like on the plate. Be right back. All right, as you can see, these pork chops. Okay, we have the spicy and the regular. Well, you know what? <laughs> I got them mixed up. I don't know which one is which. But they smell fantastic. All right? But like I said, if you want to try sous vide, you don't have to get one of the sous vide machines. You can actually use it. Use a pot with boiling water and set the temperature. Regulate the temperature on your stove. You got to use a thermometer um, to get the proper temperature. And then that's how you can also sous vide. All right? So... I just want to say thank you for watching the video, but I also have one thing to say. I keep mentioning this cruise that we went on. We just came back. We just came back. And I, I don't want to be here, but I have to come back to reality. But if you can watch the, the videos on the cruising, cruising for Chef Pop, you might be going cruising. All right. But I hope you enjoyed this video with this fine food. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next um, video. And... I will see you guys on the seas. Goodbye.